Get paid, that's what we do. Stay fly, that's what we do. Get hoes, that's what we do. Stay drunk, that's what we do. Huh? That's what we do. Yeah, that's what we do. Huh? That's what we do. Yeah, that's what we do. know where your mama stay you said you had a gun when you seen them how many people in the hood play like that episode seven let's go henny and fry crash podcast but i want to get a few things going before i even start there's no distinction what side i'm on you already know what it is it's va against everybody always let's go push up Beef is best served like steak. Well done, get a gun in your face, bitch, nigga. Come on. People had you praying to God. Move your kids, have you hiding your mom. Beef is when you hide behind the mother niggas, but they ain't killers. They ain't pulling them triggers. Fuck niggas. Let's go, push her. People had you keying our cars. Heart broke. Yours don't look like ours. Them niggas ain't dying for you. Come on. Hey. Them niggas ain't dying for you. Throwing that flag up, running around, you hot shit. Taking half of everything you get. Yeah, them niggas ain't dying for you. <laughs> them niggas ain't dying for you. And we know that. Contract Let's go all push fucked her. up. I guess that means you all fucked up. You signed to one nigga, the sign to, to another, another nigga, nigga. the sign to three niggas, now that's bad luck. <laughs> Let's go push it. Damn that shit, even the odds now, you better off selling this hard now. Yes, sir, you already know what it is. Henny and Fry Crabs Podcast. Let's go, give me a hand clap. Let's go. Sophisticated ignorance, educated rap, ratchetness. I fuck that up every time, but I don't care. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Episode 7. Episode 7. Episode 7, I am E-Man. E, Mr. G4, Mr. Henny and Fry Crabs. We back again. You know, this is a little quicker than your usual one. Because I had to get it out, all right? You know, it's Friday. Y'all already know we start with a shot. I'm on that white today. I can't be racist. You know, I usually drink that brown. But today I'm drinking that white boy, white girl. Salute to everybody. It's Friday, payday. The rent man getting our money, but it don't matter. We got the money to pay the rent. So, you know, we're going to toast to that. I love Mm y'all. Woo! If you're looking at me on YouTube right now, I want you to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment. You know, that don't cost no money. Make sure you're subscribing, hitting the like button, hit the notification button so you you see everything I drop. I'm not just going to drop podcasts on my page. I'm going to drop some vlogs where y'all can follow me, you know, in pre-production, post-production, when I'm in the street. Just hit it. You know, I want to send a shout out to everybody that's listening. Uh, to each episode up until now, the first six episodes. Listen, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all never gonna be nothing else but family to me. You know, I, I I I'm really grateful for all the support. I don't do this for the views. I damn sure don't do it for the money because I don't get no money. Uh, I just do this for an outlet for myself. I really love to do this. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to send a shout to everybody that's been supporting me. Leaving good comments, telling me, listen, you you needed to have a podcast because you talk that shit. I do talk that shit now. All right. Uh, secondly, send a shout to my boy Marlon Woods, you know. With my t-shirt, global, global, go global. Don't be local your whole life, nigga. Be global. I, uh, he runs a company, Global Transition, which is a track club and apparel club in virginia y'all follow him on instagram and facebook his name is frank gallagher up there uh so y'all follow him send him a shout out go get you a t-shirt you see it's fresh he can put any color any name under the global you know i got pop place you already know what i represent that's where i'm from that's what made me so send a shout to him Next, I want to send a shout to I Can Cook For You, LLC. If you're in the 757 area in Virginia, 
Uh, for all your catering needs, you can go to 800 Lynn Haven Road, Virginia Beach, Virginia. Uh, listen, anything you need to get catered, hit them up. I can cook for you, LLC. Come and get served. Food is good, I promise you. The cook went to school to cook, but he was cooking before then. Him and his uh, his queen run that company, so y'all hit him up. All right, listen, I'm done with shouting you niggas out that don't support me, ain't shared, ain't retweeted, ain't did nothing, left a comment, said fuck you, kiss my ass, nothing. So I'm done shouting them niggas out. I ain't doing that no more. If you don't fuck with me, I don't fuck with you. You don't support me, I ain't going to support you. And, and anybody that I shout out, anybody that I support, I don't do it for nothing. Ask anybody. I don't ask them for no discounts. I pay what they ask. So you don't support me. I don't support you. That's how it should be with anybody. Um, but yeah, I'm back. I'm back early. Y'all know why. I said I don't do these music podcasts, but I had to. It's only three artists in the game that I do a review of. It's Kanye, Kendrick. And Drake, Drake, Drake dropped the uh, certified level boy today. I'll give my overall rating at the end of this. But all I can say is it wasn't what I expected for the time that, you know, we've been waiting to get it. It wasn't what I expected. We'll run through the things I like. We'll run through the things I don't like. But we're going to get there. All right? uh, he dropped 12 o'clock last night. I, I was asleep, though. I had to work this morning. So, you know, the first thing I did when I woke up is I, I grabbed my iPods, AirPods. 5.15 this morning, I grabbed them, put them in my ear, turned it on. I'm brushing my teeth, getting ready for work. I'm listening to it. Track number one, Champagne Poetry. I was like, oof, hot fire. Can't listen, I can't lie on that one. He was killing it. Smooth beat. And he gave me that old hip hop feel. Cause it's like, when the last time you heard a rapper put three verses of their self on a record here lately? You might get one verse of bridge, maybe two verse of feature. You don't never hear nobody putting three verses. Listen, Drake killed every verse on there. So I'm already excited, like, uh-oh, Drake in his bag. He coming out. Get the record two, Poppy's home. I'm like, uh-oh. Hey, some of y'all need to stop that shit, too, calling a nigga Poppy. You know, we used to do this back in the days, like, fish it out and roll it back and boop. And if you know what that mean, <laughs> that mean get a nigga cock out of your mouth man won't do that so listen don't call them poppy i seen a lot of y'all calling them champagne poppy and poppy today on social media and i don't like it i don't like it at all so don't do that but anywho poppy's home listen on the hook i was like charlie wilson at least it sounded like charlie wilson i don't know if that charlie wilson or not but it sounded like charlie wilson so i'm like uh-oh beat go crazy he was, listen, my, 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 my hottest line in that song is, yo, used to want to throw up the rock, used to want to throw the rock up, now niggas know how I rock now. I was like, uh-oh, he in his bag. Another one. Like I say, them first two records, that's the Drake that I wanted. He sounded possessed on them records. Like, he sounded like he had something to fucking prove. Spitting. So then we get the track three. Girls Want Girls, featuring Lil Baby. And it's not a bad song. I don't want to say it's a bad song, but it's just kind of corny. Like, I mean, come on, Drake. Girls Want Girls. I, I get it. Drake is the man. He's a sniper. He's been dealing with everybody, girl. But you're a little older now. So to hear that come from him is like, all right. Anyway. And I just said in my Kanye review that I never heard a bad little baby verse. Uh, I didn't really like this baby verse. I can't even lie. This was one of the... 
if I had to say the worst baby verse I ever heard, it was this one. I just didn't like it. It was kind of forced to me. And it was like, y'all dudes is really rappers. Y'all don't really, I don't know. I just didn't like that content. So I'm going to move on to that. Number four, In the Bible featuring Dirt. Matter of fact, I'm going to put all of these three in. In the Bible featuring Dirt. Love All featuring Jay-Z. Fair Trade featuring Travis Scott. I seen a lot of comparison. Certified Lover Boy better than Donda, which I don't think. Period. Donda was better. I don't care what nobody say. But just go back and listen to the tracks that Kanye got with Jay, Dirt, and Travis Scott. Tell me is Drake's better than Kanye's. The three tracks you got Jay Z's Who's the Goat, Greatest of All Time. You got Dirt, he's one of the hottest out now, certified spitter. Travis Scott, Travis Scott, tell me who's better. I ain't even gonna do no reviews on the song because it was it was mid to me. Them songs was mid. Jay-Z kind of didn't say much. Dirk was all right, but I'm like, no. Those three songs, I will not listen to it again. I'm just being honest. All right. Seven, Way Too Sexy, featuring Future. I'm too sexy for my shirt. 80s babies, 90s people will know this song. Too sexy. Oh, I'm too sexy. First of all, I used to get <laughs> I used to get my ass beat for even listening to that song. But it was whacked in. So the fact that they flipped that, I was like, what? That's a fucking trash ass flip because that's a trash song originally. I don't I I mean, I never liked that song, so I'm not gonna like this one. Uh and I know I'm about to get the Future Hive. Oh, y'all going to be riled up. At th- I mean, I just don't think Future is as good as everybody think he is. To me, that song sounded like it was a Future song. And he went to the studio and he was listening to some of the shit the Future was doing. And he was like, hey, let me let me get that song. And Future was like, all right, go ahead. Just put a verse on it. It don't, I mean, it sounded like the records that they was doing together. But that song's corny. Point blank, period. Y'all can talk to y'all faces blue. Corny. All right. Number eight. Now, I can say this. This is my favorite record on the joint. Number eight, TSU. I got a rocket in my ear so y'all can even know what's going on. Listen. The best record on Drake's album is TSU. Certified club banger. Took him a minute to get to it, but when he got to it, that beat dropped. I got to listen to it in my ear. Y'all know I can't play it on YouTube. Ho, ho, ho. Hey, so if you see me rocking in the club, ho, it's to this joint right here. This joint go hard, Drake. I can't even lie to you. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 I'm going to be on the floor doing this right here. Hey, hey, having a bottle in my hand rocking in the club. Can't lie, TSU go hard. Hey, you know I'm recording the shit. Woo-wee. I can't lie. Y'all can't hear that record. Because it's in my ear. Like I said, I can't play that shit. Y'all going to get my YouTube shut down. But listen, TSU, hardest record on the on the album. I cannot lie. That TSU go hard. That's one song that I'm going to have on repeat. If I had get-togethers at the crib, you're going to hear that shit. You hop in the whip with me on a Friday, Saturday night before we go to the club. I'm playing it. I'm telling DJs right now, don't play that way too sexy shit. Play the TSU. Can't lie. That song go hard. All right. Um, Next up was Nine. In Too Deep. 
I mean, I just think Drake want to be from Houston so bad. So, you know, they did a little flip on the Pimp C Jump. Beat was kind of hard. It wasn't a bad record. I, I mean, once again, Future, I ain't really, I ain't really into that. All right, listen. 10, pipe down. Hot fire. Ah, fire. Fire. Can't lie. I'm going to put the candle up when I like his fire. Pipe down song, that was that was crazy. The beat was stupid. Uh, Drake was talking that talk on that song. I can't even lie to you. So, pipe down. Right now, I got one, two, three, four. I actually got four out of ten. So, he started good. Four out of ten. Nah, hell no. That's 40%. That ain't really good. That's below average. So, 40. That's failing. But I can say pipe down kind of had me like, all right, that's all right. 11, Yebba's Heartbreak. As much as I love Yebba, I mean, why was it there? Why was it there? You could have put on a lot of people right there. So I didn't understand that one, but neither here nor there. I listened to it, skipped it. Cause I listened to the I listened to the album like maybe four times a day, so no twelve no new friends. It's kind of a Memphis three six mafia beat. Uh, I don't really like to hear, and I know I, Memphis Tennessee his pops and them. So he that's the one thing I like about Drake. He gonna salute people and salute stuff that really influence him, but nah. I don't like it. And that little Sakari line, like, that shit was kind of trash. It's too trendy for me. It was out of, it was, come on, it's the, I burn niggas on and off the track. I, all right, that shit was stupid. And he, like, switched his voice up. I ain't, I don't know what that was. Why did you switch your voice up, Drake? Seriously. I don't know. All right, but anywho, boom. 13, Knife Talk. Do, that's the worst 21 Savage verse I heard And you know I, I like 21 Listen him on J. Cole he Killing shit 21 actually be spitting for real I like some of his shit A lot of his shit That trash Trash 13 I talk trash You could have left that in there 14 He started heating up again Ooh, 7 a.m. on bridal path Listen First of all, that beat was unique. Like, I don't know if y'all heard, like, the girls cheering. That was dope how they flipped the girls cheering in the background. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That beat, I was like, damn, they killed that beat. If the instrumentals out there were gonna hear that beat, get wrapped on by a hundred of you weak-ass niggas. But, listen, Drake went off. I was doing this since Team Pain was pouring Nouveau. He was killing that junk. The 60, uh, 60 of them blue stones in his watch. Who he say, put you on the guild and playing with my seed. That's the Drake I wanted. That's the Drake I wanted. I'm, I'm just being honest. That's the Drake I wanted. Him on that record. And early I told somebody I ain't like it. I had to re-listen to that song a couple times. Listen, Drake killed it. Killed it. He killed that record. I cannot lie. 14, 7 a.m. on Bridal Path. Listen, he killed it. I listen. I, that's another song I have on repeat. 15, Race My Mind. I liked it. You know. Foundation featuring Tim's. Uh, I mean, I like the African kind of vibe, the little groove. It's groovy. It's groovy, but it's real trendy to me. So I, um, and Drake's been doing those type of records for a long time. You go back to, mm, mm, mm. he's been doing that for a long time. Uh, so I get it, but yeah. Seventeen, get along. Ty Dolla Sign, boo. Eighteen, you only live twice. Listen, that beat is crazy too. Nah, I can't even front. I like Drake on the simple samples where he got a spit and he's standing next to 
Ross and Wayne. Listen, Wayne ain't been an alien here lately. And I'm not acting like Wayne ain't been spitting for years. But you know, Wayne had a two, three years where he kind of fell off. Everything that Wayne been on here lately, that nigga been killing. And this won't, listen, he ain't let me down. The only thing I ain't like about it, Wayne sounded like that verse was to another song. Drake called him, sent him the beat like, yo, I need a verse real quick. So he sent it because his flow was a little different. But listen, listen to what the hell Wayne saying. Killed it. Rick Ross, too. I think he's underrated, man. I think Ross really is better than what people give him. And when he was in the verses, y'all see Ross is that dude. Ross is that guy. I put him in my top 10 of all time. I tell people I always do that. Ross is in the top 10 of all time. You put him on the record, it's going to be all right. All right. Uh, 19. First of all, Kid Cudi, you a traitor, man. Kanye, go listen. When you see this dude, box him. You got to shoot the one with him. You either on Kanye team or Drake team, man. How the hell are you going to get on a record with Drake, man? You signed the good music. Come on, nah, Cuddy. I don't like that. I don't uh, facts of that and the song was trash. Period. The song was super trash. I, I mean, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I listen, I don't even want to listen to it because the song was trash. Fucking fans. I the remorse was cool. I I, I like the remorse. Uh, like I say. Dope record. Hey, look, he took a shot at Swiss, too. Swiss, what you gonna do, huh? You fancy, huh? He got at you. <coughs> oh, shit. Who could got me? And on that remorse joint, I kind of like how he was sending shouts to his team, like really just showing how grateful he is for his support system around everybody. So I like that. So overall, overall, zero to ten. Zero to ten. What do I give Drake? I gave Kanye 9.5. All right, I give Drake 7.5. And listen, that's not a bad rating. That's better than a lot of shit that people be doing. But come on now. I expected way more from Drake. We've been waiting. You've been hyping this shit. The art cover is cold. I, I did like them emojis with the pregnant people, even though Lil Nas X came with some bullshit. Trying to run with that Like come on bro I ain't even getting into that But Cause I don't have no issue With Lil Nas X I just got some issue With that shit Like that's stupid But neither here nor there The art cover was dope His promo was dope Like he was putting Billboards up everywhere I was expecting like Man Man He about to have Some crazy shit 7.5 Is not good enough For me For Drake We talking Top three artists all time. And we've been waiting. 7.5 ain't good enough, Drake. 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 Wasn't good enough, Drake. I hope you ain't get my man Soldier a verse and didn't put him up there because he's going to get at you, man. Soldier boy, a funny dude. But listen, that wasn't good enough for me. Drake, you could have did better. That's all I'm saying, y'all. So, you know, I'm coming back real fast with another episode. I'm not going to keep y'all long. I'm just telling you, 7.5, it was not better than Donda either. So I'm tired of y'all niggas saying that. I see a lot of y'all want to be light-skinned. Light-skinned niggas been out since, like, 03, bro. That's all I'm saying. So, either who, 7.5, Donda won. Now, Drake going to have better numbers for our sales. We know that. But Donda won. God damn it. I don't care what nobody say. Donda's better than Certified Lover Boy. Fuck it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. All right? Y'all know what it is. Hit in fried crabs. Make sure y'all hit the subscribe button. Hit a like. Comment. Let me know what y'all think. What y'all rated the album. Spam my Facebook, YouTube, 
Instagram, Twitter, all that. Let me know what you think. It's Friday. Y'all don't trick all that money off to none of them hoes. And hoes don't trick off all y'all money to them niggas. Y'all spend some money. Y'all be blessed. I'm golden. Listen, I love y'all. If you didn't hear that today from nobody, you hear it from me. I love y'all. Y'all be beautiful. Y'all be black. We gone.